Okay, I'm going to show you how to quickly kind of edit a video. You know, instead of just making one big long 40 minute video with six minutes of content. Um, this way you can edit your video down and get rid of the, you know, 34 minutes of junk. And you can start your computer, stop your computer, you know, when you get good stuff. And then you can make one, you know, long video. Um, one thing to do when uh, buying a camera, media, how does it record? How do you get the media off the camera? Um, I don't like hard drive cameras because if you drop them, they tend to freeze up and then they're junk. Um, I like SD card cameras. SD cards are cheap. You can get them, you know, several of them in a pack. I don't like getting more than, say, an 8 or 16 gigabyte memory stick. Because, uh, you know, unless you're going to do a freaking two-hour movie, you know, get a 32 gig. But, you know, you don't want to save every video you got on one memory card. Because if you lose that one memory card, you've lost everything. Get several of them. You know, if you know you're going to do just, say, 15, 20, 30-minute videos, get a 4 gig. Get a 2 gig, you know, or whatever. Um, I have a 4 gig in here right now, and it says I have 44 minutes in uh, standard high definition. Um, and that's the other thing. How do you record? Uh, you're putting it on YouTube. It's going to be on a screen this big. Why do you need a 1080p picture? Okay? Standard definition is fine. Because it's got to render it down to fit on the internet anyways. Okay? So, now that we figured out the media, my computer that I'm using right now, this is an old backup Best Buy Acer that I bought. It was like 229 bucks. We was walking out the door and I said, hey, that's a cheap computer and grabbed one. Um... Had it for a couple, three years maybe, um, and I downloaded my Sony Vega, or Vegas, or whatever the hell you want to call it, on here and did not realize it. I have not been loading videos up because my big computer is down, my laptop does not have Sony Vega, the one I've been using, my 17-incher. The one that's laying right there is a 17-inch HP with a LED screen and a Blu-ray player. It needs the chipset re-wet. Okay, anyways, we're going to get to the video. So I don't have an SD card reader built in, so I have to use an SD card adapter thingy. First thing you want to do before you do anything, go find your media. Where is it? Well, I know where mine always is. Go to computer, because we got it in there. Okay. We know it's there. And the other thing is, is this is a slow computer, so I'm not going to be able to upload really fast. Okay, now here's your media. This is one, this is two, this is three, and then you go over here and scroll down, 29. Well, actually, that's the last one. Uh, these are all rendered videos that i got to get off of there. This is yesterday's. This is the first one, 23. So here's what you do. You click on it, watch it to see if you need to edit anything. Okay, it's going to pop up over here and you can watch just that clip, how it's going to show up on TV or Internet. It'll load here. Whoop, i got to push play. My bad. It'll load here in a second. Excuse the shaky cam. i got the tremors going on today. My... I hadn't taken my medicine this morning, so I'll go with it. There we go. Well, if I would hit the play button. There we go. All right. See? I went to town. Okay. We don't need to edit this video. And then you can do that for all your other videos. And then what you do is the ones you want. Just take the last two digits. Write them down on a piece of paper. So you know which ones you're going to get. Watch each one of them. Okay? Close this out. Or minimize it. Open your... My Sony Vega. I'm going to try and make this about an eight minute video. It'll be quick. It's going to be quick. See, this computer's slow. On my big computer, it's got four gig of RAM, terabyte hard drive. This thing is two gig of RAM with uh, 160 gigabyte hard drive. So it's a little pokey, but it works. Yeah, there's what it's. Yeah, two gig of DDR, 160 gigabyte. Um, 
So it's a little pokey, but it works. Um, come on. I'll come back when this comes on. Okay, we're back. We're up. This is the first screen that comes up. It says project name. Okay, we're going to just type in Volvo Troll Module. I probably didn't spell it right. Okay. And then we'll just push finish. Okay. Now, here is where you go get your media. Go up here to project. Okay. We've already done the new because we filled out the box. You go down here to where it says import media. Then it's going to bring you up a box. Where are you going to go to get your media? Well, I've already been here. If you don't I know where my media is at. Remember, it's on the computer. You click on computer and you go the same way to get it. So we know we're going to get 23 through 29. So what you can do, you can either control and click each one of them, or click and drag your mouse down like I just did. And see how it highlights all of them? It's taken a while to load it because this computer's a little slow. You'll know when it's done. Okay. We'll come back. Okay, we're back. Now, being that they're all highlighted, you can see every one of them's highlighted. Go over here to open. Just hit open. And what it's going to do is going to load every one of them right there in that box. They're all in order now. From 23 to 29, they're in order. See? 22, 23, 24, 25. All right. And what it's doing is it's loading every one of them. See? 3 of 8. Or that's 1 of 8. That's 2 of 8. So you got to sit and wait. Now, my other computer, my big one, this would have been done by now. Um, anytime you want to edit videos, you want the most DDR RAM and the fastest processor you can get. Um, the hard drive, the terabyte, is just storage space, okay? That's all it is. So if you just, what I do is, what I do is I render my videos, I upload them to the internet, once I see them, I delete them. Because they're not like something I'm gonna keep, like a family keepsake or anything like that. If it is, I'll save those to a thumb drive. So as soon as these are done, which is, they're done now, right now okay now see how they're all highlighted we could just click one and drag it down here to the video bar and every one of them would follow but what I want to do is show you how to do a little quick editing click that and that just unhighlights them so what we're going to do is we're going to bring one down to the video bar I'm trying to do this one handed you load it to the video bar that's the one video it is exactly four minutes and 30 seconds long and actually this video here we don't want so what I'm gonna do is just show you how to shorten it say we watch it we're gonna watch it. I'm just gonna do a quick one here see this black bar moving well as you can see okay it's still we're gonna stop it black bar you kind of run it out until you know where your bad spot is or where you want to edit it say I want to stop it somewhere here in the 159 mark. Bring your mouse over here, put it right on the inside of that line. See how it's telling me left and right arrow? Left click it. Okay. I just shrunk that video down to the two minute and 30 mark. So at the two minute and 30 mark is where I stopped that video. What you do, you out here click it, that video what you want to do is now that you've got that one run down to where you want it, start stacking the other ones. But we don't want this video on here, so we're going to get rid of this, delete it, okay? Then we're going to go on here and right click and get all these other videos. Hold on. Okay, there's the box. Box, come on, okay? And what you do is this is just like your YouTube. You fill it out, 
your uh, title, your description, hit your drop down box where you want all the videos, you put in all your tags, blah blah blah, you want it public, blah blah blah, and you hit upload. Now what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to tell me it's too long, but I know I can get longer videos in my account. Now what it's going to do is another box is going to come up right about here and tell me it's rendering. It'll take a few minutes to render. A eh, 12 minute video, probably 15 minutes to render. And about 15 minutes to upload with this computer, maybe 20. There it's rendering. Okay. There's the video it's rendering frame by frame. <laughs> it's slow. This computer is just turd. Okay, we're already at 1%, just that quick. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the time. 1.55. I'm going to shut this off. When it gets close to being done, I'll show you the time again. Alright, I had to shut it off. Infinite, the infinite wisdom of uh, you know Windows has to do an update right in the middle of your freaking project. So it's 2.18 right now. and I just restarted it, so we'll come back when it's rendered. 2.44 so that 12 minute video has 45 seconds left to upload or to render it's actually rendering right now and then in 30 seconds it's going to start uploading and it does it all automatically loads everything and then with this software you can do fades, you can add stuff, you can add your little intro in the front, save it to a file, so all you have to do is drag your intro down to the first box and then everything else after that. Um, you can flip a video if you got one that's upside down. Um, this, is, this is the software where you can do dub overs, add voice, add text, um, you know, you can slow the video down, speed the video up. I can't explain everything that goes on here. See, this is actually doing this movie in this size, right here. 320 by 240. Okay? I mean, this is this is all the, this is the software you get. They sell a $500 one for professionals that do, you know, commercials and TVs. and You don't need that. This is 100 bucks for this. This is Pro HD, is this one here. Movie Studio HD 9.0. I've had it a couple of years. See? It's fixing to upload here in just a second. Yeah, I will do it to the upload and that'll be it. Here we go. One, two, three. Hello. There it goes. Upload into YouTube. Sometimes when you go to upload and you're having a failures where that thing a box will fail and say you can't upload or it's hard to upload pause your virus software Some of these virus softwares like Norton's and AVG They bog your system down so much that it won't let you upload So if you right click your software icon over here For your virus and it'll say pause just pause it and then do your upload and then you know, go from there. See, this says it's eh, it's roughly going to take about 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. See, it keeps jumping around. Every time it loads, it drops. See, it dropped to 12, 13. It'll jump up to 15, then it'll load a little bit, drop back down a little bit. <clears throat> okay, and here's the other thing. Is I have 1.75 download speed. I have 0.25 upload speed. Which means I have a dollar seventy-five upload, or yeah, down dollar seventy-five download and twenty-five cents upload. That's how fast my internet here is. So you guys that live in a big city that's got ten megs, you know, up ten megs back, you know, this won't take you five minutes, three minutes, four minutes. You know, you stream videos, not here. Okay, or I live out in the woods. You know, we have little elves that actually collect up all this data and run it to town and you know upload it that way but anyways that's it see see how much this is done already it's already you know three four five percent it's it's hanging around that 13 minute mark so 15 minutes or so this will be up